Hi, I'm John Biggs, and welcome to another episode of Makers. I'm here with Gil Weinberg, his robots Shimon and Shimmy. Tell us what's going on in here. So this is a Georgia Tech Center for Music Technology, where we develop a lot of music technology. We have multiple faculty members here, but my focus is in robotic musicianship. So my robots are not just musical robots, they are musicians. So they understand music, they can improvise music, they hopefully can inspire humans to play music differently, to think about music differently. Some of them are meant to be companions, so uh, they can recommend music to you, they can interact with you because they can see you and fit the sound directly at you. We're really trying to find ways to bring robots into human personal interaction that will be fun and engaging. Mm -hmm. So why music? Why bring this amazing multi-armed robot into a realm that's traditionally considered creative? <laughs> so we are all accustomed to think about robots as doing mechanical things that are simple and require uh, just strength. And my goal in my research was to try to show that robots can actually be creative. They can do things that up until now we thought only humans can do. So what would be the main thing that we think is so special for, for human? Music. It also helped that I was a musician before I got into computation, and that happens before I got into robotics. So by heart, I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. And I always develop musical instruments or musical software. So I started from music and tried to bring it into the realm of robotics. So what did it take to move from strumming a guitar and playing a piano to building a metallic robot? A lot of help. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's great here at, uh, at Georgia Tech uh, to collaborate with other faculty members, to collaborate with students that do a lot of the work. Uh, also, I collaborated with some other colleagues uh, from IDC in Israel, uh, Guy Hoffman, uh, Ian uh, and Rob uh, are also part of, of the team that developed Chimi. Uh, I focus on the software and on the music intelligence and I have a full team that helps me build the robot themselves. Okay, so tell us about Shimon and uh, presumably this guy can play along with you and your assistants, right? Right, so the idea is that I will play and Shimon will listen to what I play and try to understand what is the style of the playing, what, what I'm likely to play based on statistical analysis of what I'm playing and then it will try to improvise based on this style, my style, but we have algorithms that will introduce new things that I would never play. And the idea is that from these new things, uh, I will be inspired to push my music to a way that, uh, or directions that I never thought of. We also have some jazz masters installed in it, installed in the sense of it knows the style. And when I play, it can play back at me what I played, but in the style of Monk or Coltrane. And hopefully that will also be something very inspiring because I didn't get a chance to play with these people before. And in terms of fluidity and in terms of, I guess, grace, what sort of music would you say this guy is producing? So basically, it is based on what I play. So if I play jazz, it will play back at me jazz. I happen to play jazz. Uh, if I play more pop, it will take what I played and play it more pop. And of course, it can introduce new genres to, in order to try to surprise me. So a big part of it is how much redundancy or how much, yes, I understand why he plays it because it builds on what I played versus how much this is new, original. I'm not sure why he came up with that, but I will build on that. Mm -hmm. So could we eventually replace uh, like Miley Cyrus with this thing? <laughs> and no comment. Hopefully. So these little guys back here, these are the shimmies, correct? These are the shimmies. These are the kids of Shimon. Mm -hmm. Uh, they are not playing acoustic sound, but what's nice about them is that they are based on a phone. So without a phone, they're pretty stupid. But once you take your phone from your pocket, suddenly they have a brain. It's a dock, a docking station. So if nothing else, it will charge your phone. Uh, but then uh, all the brain and the music intelligence is uh, in the phone and now the robot can look at you because the phone has a camera. It can network because the phone has networking. Uh, it can detect your voice commands because it has Siri or it has an, another uh, voice detection, it can uh, follow you. Uh, so whenever you are m moving around, it knows where you are and it moves the speakers just to where you are, you'll get the best sound ever. Uh, you can clap a rhythm and the robot will go into the database, going to the cloud, do a lot of the computation on the cloud, pick the song that is the most similar to your rhythm. Uh, it can recommend, it can go to the cloud and see what you like, maybe analyze your gestures. If you don't like something, you can nod, or if you want the next one, you can move. Mm -hmm. uh, bringing more and more uh, interaction that is physical and embodied into 
you and your music. Then you can get these guys to dance together and sing together. That, yeah, we're using the networking for that. And uh, when they play together, you can see some synchronized uh, dancing. You can also enter your own voice into their synchronized dancing and suddenly they dance to your own voice. Uh, we have in mind applications for education uh, in the future, for gaming. Uh, the idea is that third-party developers will have an API and you have a robot that can work on apps and we'll have applications that we didn't even think about uh, from some great people that hopefully will develop an application for Shimi. Mm -hmm. And what's next with musical robots? Guitars, drums? Guitars, drums, uh, and maybe uh, in the near future, I don't know how many years, a robot can actually be multi-instrumental. That would be very <laughs> cool. I don't think that's a, such an instrument. It's so special system right now. But a robot that will be able to play guitar and marimba uh, and drums and piano is probably a very You could nice eventually stand. have like a robotic busker. <laughs> and all you would have to do is sit on the, on the sidewalk and just let this guy go. Yeah, imagine that instead of buying an MP3, you just buy a little robotic uh, band in, that can reproduce the sound just like uh, in a live show. And then uh, you get the best sound, even better than the most high fidelity sounds that you can, can currently get. All right. Thank you, Gil. Thank you. This has been another episode of TechCrunch Makers. Thanks for watching.